What is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional and it is a beautiful day out here in our reality. We are going to Carpe Diem the day today. Take advantage of this beautiful day and we're gonna go to the jetty and paddle out with the fam. Hi. <laughs> you. Um, th guys, did yeah. you get my boogie board? Yeah, okay. Your boogie board? Yeah. I don't know where your boogie board is. It's, it's... Because I really want to try and boogie board. No, that's cool. I hear you. Here we go. Ryan! Oh. At the beach, Nona just sits in a chair and does nothing. Yeah. Uh, That's your think, claim? Don't you think Nona deserves to do nothing for a change? No, no you don't. No. <laughs> I do. There's a couple boys out there. Damn, maybe that's where it's firing at. All right, we made it down here to the jetty. It looks like the waves are firing off a little bit. There's some boys out here riding, so there's also a lot of people up in the inlet over there surfing too, so. I don't know, we'll paddle out for a little bit and see what's up. You. the fam right there we got Ma Dukes Devin and Zebra Boy everybody's getting their stuff ready okay since I am really a big little girl and I get so cold out there in the water, it takes me like 10 minutes to actually get um, used to the water. So I always like to wear my wetsuit, keeps me a little bit warm out there from the wind, you know, but it's beautiful out there. Nobody else is rocking a full suit like this, but I, I wear this old school Henderson wetsuit, classic. I've had it for, you know, since I was like 18 years old, probably almost 10 years. Um, so I'll put this on 
and we're gonna do a magic clip. Next time you see me, I have my wetsuit on. Woo. And boom, all decked out. I got my old school Davo board here, all decked out in my Henderson suit. We got the fan back there playing in the water. And we're about to catch some waves for the boys. Phew. And this is my old school, this is my old school Davo epoxy board that I rock out with. It's 6'2". Um, it was shaped by Stu Sharper. If you can get this in there. And it's for the dream. It has a couple things in it. I mean, this was my first board that I had and I still have this one. All my other boards have somehow gotten ruined or misplaced or borrowed by somebody, but I still have the original one that I learned how to surf on and it still works. So that's what I'm gonna be out there riding today. So we'll see if I can get something. If I can't get anything, I'm gonna go paddle out with the boogie board. All right, I got out there. I caught a couple waves, it was firing. You won't see any clips of me because I don't have anybody down here who can actually hold a camera for me or even get a couple shots of me. So I'm about to switch over to the long lens and I'm gonna try and get some shots of the boys that are out there now. You. Yeah, I, yeah, oh, uh. yeah, I. Yeah. Know who it is when you see that chain swing. Big woods lit while I lane change. Boys hating on us, but they lames. I'm about getting money. I'm on the same thing. Know who it is when you see that chain swing. Big woods lit while I lane change. Boys hating on us, but they lames. I'm about getting money. I'm on the same thing. Yeah, Sachi on my lens, help me see my vision. Sachi. Check the scoreboard, you gon' see my team winning. Know who it is when you see that chain swing. Big woods lit while I lane change. Boys hating on us, but they lames. I'm about getting money. I'm on the same thing. Know who it is when you see that chain swing. Big woods lit while I lane change. Boys hating on us, but they lames. I'm about getting money. I'm on the same thing. All right, that was a fun day at the jetty. Got some shots of the boys out there surfing. Shout out to Mr. McClay who was out there. And we had, had enough for right now. I'd stay out there for a little bit longer. The waves are all right. You know, I, I caught a couple, but you know, I'm not the biggest surfer. I'd rather be out here with my camera instead getting some shots. So here we go. To next time, I'll see you guys later. You. Peace out, Jetty. You. All right, hopping back in the truck now. I'm getting ready to pull off. Did you have fun today, Zebra? Yep. What was your favorite part? Um, the water. The water? Yep. How nice was it? Super nice. And guess what I made? What? A humongous sand thing. Yeah? Yep, and it was like a castle. Any claims for the boys at home? Get, o get off your butt and stop watching YouTube and do something with your life? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Uh. Breaking down the wood, yeah, we smoking good. Break, break, breaking down the wood, yeah, we smoking good. Break, break, breaking down the wood, breaking down the wood. There's a nub. There's nub stickers around here. Yep, there's the nub sticker right there. For the boys. You. Oh, they're over here too. Okay, we made it back home. And now you can see what the truck looks like. What a mess. So the next step is when you bring Black Betty down to the beach, you gotta clean her up. Uh, 
Is that too close? They move it. Pretty close. All right, what is up, guys? We are back home now, and now I gotta take this wetsuit off, and I gotta get in the shower. First, I gotta take off this beautiful Freedom to Dream hat. Shout out to the boy Tuck, and let's get this rocking. It's always nice having some hot water in the shower outside. Nice hot water. All right, we got the truck all vacuumed out after that beach ex excursion. You can see how nice it looks. These Chevy trucks are pretty neat because you can go like that and fold the seats down or up. Like, you could almost sleep back here, I would claim. You know, you put a little bit of a couple blankets there. You could definitely camp out in this thing for the dream. But, um,. Show you guys what I got going on out here. This is like sort of the wash down area. I got my um, my wetsuit there, wetsuit bag there. This is the cover for the back seat of the truck so it doesn't get ruined. Got my tripod. I was out here shooting, out there shooting some of the boys so I got that all cleaned and washed off. Got my little boogie board there. My surfboard, my 6.2 Davo epoxy, and then we got all the other stuff out here that we're cleaning off for the dream. Now we gotta finish washing Black Betty down. Gonna give her a little bit of a soapy soapy, and I'm wearing my Speedo still. Feeling good. You. The boys are washing the truck down. Black Betty for the dream. A lot of hard work goes into keeping this truck looking so nice. Black Betty, all clean. Damn, she looks sexy when she's wet and clean. Eww. Next step, we're going to use this little Landa power washer. Spray the undercarriage, because when you're driving on the jetty like that in the beach in the sand, you really need to make sure that you, the beach, the sand, the salt water, you gotta make sure you clean all the undercarriage real good. If not, you'll get some rust spots like we're starting to get on this, um, the back springs back there. So that's why it's very important to clean the undercarriage after you went driving on the beach. That is, unless you wanna take care of your truck. All right, this is a tip for anybody that has a new car, new truck, or just a truck or a car that they want to keep clean and looking good. I highly recommend these WeatherTech seat liners. Like this is for the back seat. Like just think about it. You're out there surfing. You're a little bit sandy. You got your wetsuit on and you need to hop in the truck to get back home. Well, you don't want to sit on these nice leather seats that we got back here but you just have this little cover and it's all good. Even if you got pets or you know anything like that, it really helps to protect the seats. And also, you wanna get these floor liners, these WeatherTech floor liners. They're made in the USA. You just go on to weathertech.com and you can search the model of your car or your truck to get the size and Fit that you need but they really help to protect the floor and everything in your car or your truck um, black betty probably wouldn't be looking so nice as she is now if we didn't have these extra things so they're not that expensive and i would definitely say it's worth the investment as far as taking care of your vehicle so that's a little tip you damn that truck's looking shiny Another tip, when to clean your tires, use this Armor All Tire Shine. Just gotta make sure the tires are like clean and washed off and dry. And then you pretty much just take this little piece here and just spray it around. Get a good some good coverage all the way around. 
and it'll clean your tires up for you. So go around, go around and do that to all your tires and I'll show you the after, how they look. There's the before. See how they look. Another tip for the dream. All right, another quick tip is to use these Armor All glass cleaners and you just wipe them off. I mean, sometimes I would just use newspaper and Windex. That's always a good thing too, but we got these in the shop right now, so you might as well use them. The only thing that I really don't like about them is they kind of leave this little bit of, um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's like a little bit of film, like a little bit of a dust from, I think from the wipes that they leave on there, but I only see it on the windshield. Every other, every other window looks really clean, so. In the end, I would use them again. Okay, part of my thing is, is I gotta go pick Jeannie up right now. How do you think she is gonna react when I show up just wearing my Speedos and come open up the door. Put a comment in the comment section below how you think she's gonna react. You. Or better yet, in the comment section below, put whether she's gonna like it or not. Or do you like it or not? Comment in the comment section below, do you like the mop god wearing his Speedos? You. I'll keep playing songs to an empty room Take my grain of salt, rub it all in my wounds I am gonna keep trying while there's blood in my veins Anything worth having is worth a little pain My memories, they remain all right, we just pulled up to get Jeannie. I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna wait for her and I'm gonna open up the door when she leaves and see what she says. There's some people out here already, so let's see what happens. It's gonna be funny. I can't wait to see what she says. <laughs> Patiently waiting. This is gonna be, this is gonna be too funny. So, this is gonna be so funny, I can't wait. See what these people come up the street if they have something to say. There's Jeff's car. Uh, this, these are my speedos, Jeff, dude. I was at the beach. Yes, I am. What are you doing? What do you have to say about this, Jeannie? This is a weird, it's really weird that you're coming to my job in underwears outside and taking pictures. This isn't, this isn't Taking underwear. video of my friends. These are my speedos that I have on. I was, these are my bathing suits. But why? What do you mean? Why are you out in the sidewalk with I your bathing Because I was waiting suit? for you so I could open up the door for you. In your underwear. They're not, it's not are you, my. Are you drunk? It's not my underwear, Jeannie. Are you drunk? No. Why are you in speedos out here? Look, everybody's looking at you in there. It's not my underwear, they're my bathing suit, guys. Thank you. So what do you have, Jeannie? Did that make you upset? Get some help. Did that make you upset? Huh? I haven't had a drink in days, and I think uh, I deserve the tequila that's in here. Okay, I'm sure you deserve it.
You should just see Jeannie's face moving and how mad she is at me right now that I did that. She said my dickhead was pointing out to her friends. It was so funny because I don't know. I don't see my dickhead at Fuck. all. Where? Ugh. Jeannie just had a bad day and she needs someone to yell at. That's all. <laughs> Whatever. Is that so bad? <laughs> All right, Jeannie wasn't too happy with me over my uh, speedo stunt, so she's trying to teach me a couple of curse words in Spanish at least, so that's funny. So I can say coño and um, to my, and bendejo means if I'm trying to call somebody a pussy, like a scaredy cat, but it really means like the hairs on your asshole so I really don't understand all this Spanish translation shit but I'm trying to learn so might be signing out for the day who knows we'll see what happens for the dream you I will take my clothes off and but not all my clothes off I'll leave my bathing suit on and I'll walk around if you want me to but I wouldn't I don't think I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. Yeah, I definitely don't want to is, walk is around with my bathing suit. The thing is, is that I wanted to. That's the whole thing. Okay, well. And the thing that people try to stop people from doing stuff they want to, yeah. that's what makes them Nazis. That's and true. And communists and shit like that. All right, touche, my friend. And it kind of sucks, but <laughs> it is what it is. Even, but things, sometimes things are wrong and we don't always know what the, the rules and the regulations of the land are, so... Sometimes we need a little help to somebody to tell us, no, you're not supposed to do that here because of this and this and this reason. But when someone tells me this and this and this reason and I don't believe in it and I think it's a bunch of shit, well, I just say fuck you to them. So in the <laughs> wow. end, watch children. Watch children. <laughs> Got it? Yep. <laughs> I love fire. <laughs> it's all super HD too. Hmm? It's all super HD too. I was the fire. That's what happens when you put a little bit of gasoline on the fire. Jeannie likes gasoline. Dale, dale, gasolina. Hey. Stuff. No, I'm not. So come out here and, and sing it by the dream closet. No. I don't really I hate that song anyway, so Ooh. Yeah, I just like seeing those Spanish girls dance to that song. Oh. Like Jeannie. Ooh. Tigger's humping me. I guess Tigger likes that song too. He's, he's a lover. You need to get up off of me, though. Bugger. Tigger boy does not like the fire. So no, he far. loves the fire, obviously, because he he's not it's afraid too of it. Big. He's not afraid of it. I don't think it's that big, but I think it it's is great. Big. I think it's great. This fucker, he's not gonna run from fire, he's just gonna go straight at it. So that's what we're doing. Just, just, he's just like me. He ain't gonna run from fire, he's gonna go right at it. And he's even gonna set himself on fire just to prove that you can. And that we're having a good time here tonight, so far, during the fire. Jeannie's gonna about to bring out Janie, her guitar, and maybe play me a little bit of music. We'll see what happens. I got a little bit of a blood in my hand from breaking up these cigar boxes they have a couple little bit of uh nails or whatever in them so but some might call me a vampire what why because i suck my own blood oh god <laughs> So tonight is